the Timberwolves channel on iHeartRadio and FM 100.3 KFAN. The Fan. Morning, Zach. We 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 got we got a um, uh, Parrish and I have to yep. tell you guys a story, and we yep. need to bring. And you know what, Corey? I'm not gonna call you beady eyes. I'm not gonna be mean to you, but please, you straighten, can. straighten your ass up, okay? Because this, this is real. What's about to be told here, and we need you just to. And because Rosie's with us on this, I think. I think he's one of us. Oh boy, this has got to be ghost related. It's ghost related. <laughs> yes, you are correct. You are correct. I so just saw someone in an elevator, and I never mind. Oh, oh, yeah. Remember when you oh, when you, uh, you had to beat off those ghosts in the Cla- elevator? Hey-o. Remember that? <laughs> Classic line. The it elevator was. tries to bring you down. Yeah, man. Yeah. All right, go for it, man. I can't wait. Pioneer Place, the lovely place in St. Cloud that we go play Huskies. all the time. I love that place. Just love it. But it's haunted. Uh-oh. I don't care what anybody says. Now, you guys may remember last year, uh, Stretch, d and I were rehearsing, and somebody poked me in the back, and it turned around there was nobody standing there. Okay, everybody be cool. Freaks me out. Started hearing more ghost stories, right? We were playing there last Friday with Rocket Club. I was doing my warm-up. The women's bathroom, Rosie, mm-hmm. unlike you, scares the hell out of me. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, just it where it's located it, down there, it's scary. Sure. Just scary, right? There's weird trash cans and stuff in there. Freaks me out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's not what freaks me out. You just feel weird presences. So I walk in to the women's bathroom. There's never anybody in there. Mm-hmm. I'm doing my warm-up. I turn around. I walk out, walk back down the hallway. I go back down and turn and go back in to, to go back in. The light has been turned off. Not that the light was off, like it was mm-hmm. an electrical malfunction. The switch was turned off. I did not do it. Nobody else went in there. The light switch turned off on its own. You, you could actually see the switch? Yeah, the switch. Because I, I reached in to see, like, right. and I flipped it back up to oh, turn it back boy. on. Well, someone and walked away walk very in. fast. No one did, Rosa. How do you know? Because there was no way to get there without passing by me. It's a hallway into the bathroom. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Take that core. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm a believer. Uh, well, uh, you couldn't leave her if you tried. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 Corey, my mom. Uh, now is 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 a true believer as well because I cannot I'm gonna butcher these details, Mom. I apologize. <laughs> I don't remember where she was. She was with some of her girlfriends. She might have been in Memphis. She might have been in Washington. I have no idea. <laughs> Either way, she, they're they're going up to this old historical house, uh, and and uh, the this group that Mom's with, yeah. uh, they look. There's a balcony right over the the this old whatever the heck it is plantation. We won't even call it. They all see. They all clearly see a woman mm-hmm. standing up on the balcony. Uh, walk into the house to go through the tour. They start talking and they start asking the the the, the tour guide about the woman that that was in the house and that there was no woman in the house See? and and multiple alleged. I'm going to say this allegedly because uh, you know how I feel about this, Corey. But you, my mom, I guess, is a true believer. I tried to keep that. I my face is actually the exact same one Corey has right now when my mom was telling me this story. What face? But uh, <laughs> but uh, but yeah. So I guess Corey, there, Hawks definitely got my mom. My mom's on board now. I'm telling you, Nona's Nona's there. Hawks She's had a lot seen of moms. Uh, not enough. <laughs> Never enough. I'm gonna tell you right now. You can believe or not believe. That happened to me, man. You give me the uh, happened to the me shivers. It gives me the shivers. Yeah. It shivered me timbers. I've, I. I'm to the, just prove it. I'm a, I wouldn't get scared now. I just, yeah. I want, uh, okay. If, yeah. if there is, prove it to me because I just don't. I feel where you come from. If, this, if you were telling me this story, I'd have doubts as well, but this happened to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? There's so there no other explanation. I love my no mom to death, but I don't believe in ghosts. See? All right. There's a ghost here. Do something. <laughs> well, um, I tried to do that in, in uh, uh, was, uh, Carson City. Oh, supposed yeah. to be yeah right there's yeah. it's all kinds of haunted i the the the, the silver dollar saloon all the that whatever the heck's in there and they're like yeah if if if, you, the, if you're rude to them i called them every name in the book nothing nothing did you try saying beetlejuice three times <laughs> and you know what <laughs> dang it I'm just saying there was my chance yep but anyway that happened hmm. i tried happened to, to antagonize Rosa. the living hell out of them Rosa believes. they didn't I, you have a lot of weird stories happen and i've heard Plenty of them, and you go, well, there's got to be an explanation for it, and many times there's not. See? Like just the one you just said Thank and you told. Rosa. There you go. Oh, I don't. 
There's an explanation. We just haven't figured it out yet. Yeah, ghosts exist. That's the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me, and I don't, I'm not a believer. I think that's no. abundantly clear. Yeah, well. I was on a subway in New York City once, and I watched this, like, coin getting pushed okay. across okay. the bottom <laughs> yeah. of it. And God, nobody was Kevin pushing Spacey it. Had been no. there. It, was, yeah. it was just, it wasn't, like, rolling. The coin was just getting pushed. How is that possible? F- like, flat. Like, yeah. mo- I, I, I was... Probably ten years old. Did you watch Demi Moore and Whoopi Goldberg make out? <laughs> Who didn't? Who did? I was. Uh, I have another story too. Oh yeah. Anyway, what? you were saying, Zach. Yeah. Uh, so I was in a hotel with uh, three other guys, and we started crossing streams. <laughs> That sounds right. Well, is this a ghost story? Those tickets, I won that bet. And there was slime everywhere. Okay. Uh, You took it too far. You took it too far. Were you the gatekeeper or the key master? (laughs) Both. Oh, that's nice of you. Wow. Anyway, oh boy. there you go. Try it. I want the ghost hunters to investigate the Piner Place in St. Cloud. Lovely, lovely place. Let's Thank go you. do it. We should go do a ghost hunt. It's hunting. time for Fan 5, oh. brought to you oh by goodness. Builders and Remodelers. Thank you, Builders and Remodelers. It's always haunted plantations. It's always haunted theaters. How come there's no ghosts at a Lululemon? Because it's too new, Corey. If you had any idea what you were talking well, about. Well, somebody's got to be able to die at a Lululemon or some spirit's got to. If you die in a mall, are you only. I was hoping for rest- that yesterday when you went there. <laughs> are you only restricted <laughs> to the so, store you died in or can you do some mall walking? You can, you can <laughs> right? Move, move around a little bit. You're a ghost. And the juice is loose, right? Yeah. Can't he. If, he's, right. if somebody dies at Mall of America, can't they go to all four floors? Well, sure I think know. so. Sure it's, they can. When Corey dies, I'm going straight to the Auntie Anne's to talk to his spirit. Yeah. I went yesterday. Of course. Got those pretzel points. How many eat? Well, the... Uh, the pretzel points. You, more proof the kiddo is definitely my kid. She claims that the uh, pretzel bites taste different than a pretzel. And I had to, I showed her, like, the guy... The gal's cutting them up. I go, same stuff. But then I can't get mad at her because no, that's no. my psychosis, right. too, is I understand... That logic doesn't make sense when you have the eating problems that my daughter and I have. You got to throw logic out. So she thinks they taste differently. So she wanted the pretzel bites. I said, "You yeah. have the pretzel bites. Yeah. I'll take the regular ones." Right. I agree with that. We uh, at Disney, they got the Wetzel's pretzels out there, yes, sir. which is fine, but it's a it's, step down. Yeah, it is. It's. It, I was disappointed. I had to try yeah. it, of course, thinking of you. And Wetzel's no, pretzels it's, are it's, fine. It's, I'm not. Okay. I'm they're not. not they're here, no anti ends. But they're no anti ends exactly. There's no other option. <laughs> I'm going to crush Wetzel's pretzels. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. Mm. But I got to get those pretzel points first. At right. Your, your loyalty. My loyal. Yeah. I'm very loyal to yeah. Indians. In fact, I will be having it one week from today when we land at the Vegas airport. It. Right around this today. time. God, this is unreal. Uh, uh, clarify, because a week okay. from today, we're flying out almost. We're, right. We'll be in the air a, a week right. from right now. Uh, your flight is later on Wednesday? Later on Wednesday, so, so I can come in next Wednesday morning. Perfect. Paris, you're here next Wednesday as well? I am. All right, so... The two of you, right. uh, Max, Creasel, Lieber, oh, good. Tommy, wow. oh, Martin. It's going to be basically all of you at an hour okay. or two at a time. So the more, the merrier. Yeah. It, 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 do, shoot, do I actually have to show up on time and be at their 530 is my normal 6, 615 We might need to organize that. Yeah, I think we might need to organize a little bit. I <laughs> yeah. think you might show up. It might be better if you show up at 530 because okay. I think yeah. Lieber's 630, time. you're yeah. 730. Right. I so think I actually Marty's be on 7 time. to 9. Dang it. So Good. I think it'll be like you, Tommy, Creasel, and Max to start okay. the show. Gotcha. Oh gotcha. That's going to be a let's fun mix. Go. You guys better get back on the air. Oh, that's going to be awesome. What in the sweet hell are we going to talk about? Yeah, that'll be fun. I got some ideas. All right. Right. Yeah, man. That's yeah, gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun. Plotting our Vegas uh, escapades as we speak. You guys gonna do some grappling? <laughs> <laughs> I never grappling or groping. Uh, that's the last thing I would have expected. The word grappling. What's on the uh, What's on the docket <laughs> yeah, for uh, for Jeff question. and Mark Madness? Uh, Masters got? Madness this year, Masters. not March Madness. Yes. Um, no, you do whatever you guys want. Yeah, well, I mean, we do. We, it's just, you role play however you want. It's, just, it's hard to have two masters. <laughs> well, uh, your favorite person will be involved on Thursday. Dolly Parton? Carrie Dob. Russell? Dobbs. Oh, I don't oh, care okay. about Dobbs. Oh. <laughs> but uh, well, we'll see around dinners and uh, blackjack potentially at the pool. If there is up there. It's, it's yeah. A, yeah. You know they have circa. blackjack indoors too, right? No, no, I wasn't aware of that. He, he's not lucky in there. No, he's no. Only he lucky, gotta, he only correct. gets lucky outside. Correct. I've been watching that. I, I've been telling you, this guy that shows up on Insta, whatever, that it takes two grand or five grand and plays one hand of roulette or one hand. What's of, his name? Vegas Matt? Is yeah, that his name, yeah. Zach? And he, you know, I always think, what's the shtick here? But, you know, he loses too. Mm-hmm. So it looks like 
does he just do this until he wins? But no, it's an interesting theory because I'm, I'm always fascinated when when people and, and slot machines as well, which can't you know you can't rig that obviously, but it makes you all I realize that it's horrifying at the same time, and like maybe that's the way to do it as opposed to sitting at a table for X amount of hours and just you know. But I I get enjoyment. I'd rather play blackjack by the pool for two hours you know, and win, you know, whatever and lose whatever, then play one hand and pick up your money or leave it there and leave. Mm-hmm. But you're saying one big spin of roulette instead yeah. of just nickel and diming yourself for two well, hours. That's what this guy does. Maybe I'll what try that next week. Put it on? Uh, not the one you're thinking Well, of. it only goes oh, to 36. Yeah. Oh, that's so right. Sorry so to never break mind. your heart. I, I know yeah. it. No, I would probably do my lucky number 13. That's your lucky number? Yeah. yeah. No kidding. Nice. Well, I was born on the 13th. Hmm. So that's why I think it was. What is that called? Triscadecophobia or whatever the uh, yeah. the fear of the number thirteen. You yeah. don't have that. No, I was thirteen on Friday the thirteenth. So I, well, I guess that explains a lot. That's when you were in mm-hmm. Camp yeah. Christmas tree trying basically. to shake down those gals. <laughs> 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 was, uh, uh, my birthday's in November, so I, they were not there in, in uh, oh, November. Oh man, no, no, I was. I don't mm. know. Anyway, yeah, I read yesterday somewhere that um, some cultures think number four is an unlucky number. Unlucky? Yeah. Did mm-hmm. you guys know that? Is it no. China? Isn't, I mean, that might be right. That I think might be China right, yeah. has a number like it's, that that's that they think is super huh. unlucky. But so there are uh, some I mean, hotels no... in Las Vegas that don't have a number of uh, a fourth floor. Like they, mm. you always hear the. Are you kidding? Really? Yeah, I'm serious. Yeah, yeah. That's what do crazy. I think it's wow. China. Let me see here. China. Yeah, four is my lucky number. number. At least I, I thought laugh it when was. There's no third. <laughs> it is four. Yeah. Is it four? Okay, got four. it. Four. Oh. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. Did not know. It just like American buildings sometimes skip the thirteenth. Likewise, Chinese drivers avoid license plates ending in four. Wow. Uh, that should oh, here. This, well, here's a quick uh, uh, Google explanation. The number four is considered unlucky because it sounds a lot like the word for death. <laughs> so whatever the number Wait. four is in Chinese. Right. I wish Sauce was here to speak Mandarin. Yeah. Apparently yeah, the word really death and four are too similar. Uh, four, four. Is that accurate? If anybody speaks death. Chinese, tweet at PowerTripKFN and confirm that, uh, hmm. that that's the case in Mandarin. Crazy. There you go. My friend Kat Does that irritate you when you that. see like uh, no thirteen floor in a building? I of course it does. I always think I, it's funny. Everything irritates like, me though. I'm it's, Seinfeld. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's just an odd superstition Basically. to have for a hotel. It's so dumb. It is. Yeah. There are there are hotels that do that now. Yeah, they don't there care. are. Yeah. 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 You want to change rooms? Change rooms. You want to be like the thirteenth floor? This might be cool. Floor, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's do a fan break. five quickly here. All right. Oh yeah, we gotta do that first. Uh, we'll just do the one that uh, that probably it's matters time the most. For fan five brought to you by builders and remodelers. Hey, thank you, bye bye. Rosie, the Wild aren't out of it yet. They need a mathematical miracle, but they're not out of it yet. But they won three to two. The Twins obviously have a billion games left. Mm. The one that really matters is the Wolves. They are they are down the stretch now, uh, with just seven games to go. Right. They are a half a game out of first. So they got good news and bad news last night. The bad news was Denver won one ten one oh five to the Spurs. Mm-hmm. But OKC lost to the Sixers 109-105, and the Wolves pulled away from a pretty red-hot Rocket squad over the last uh, month or so. They won 113-106, Nas Reed with a team-high 25. So, officially now the second-best record in franchise history. That was their 52nd win, just the uh, uh, second time they've ever got to 52 wins or higher. The record is 58, so they'd have to win the the rest of their games to break the all-time record and get to 59. Uh, But now, Denver's in first, the Wolves and OKC just a half a game back. Denver only has six games left. The mm-hmm. Wolves and OKC have seven. OKC plays at Boston tonight, I believe, too, and they're missing with, uh, their top player, SGA, SGA is what they call them. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, the Wolves game was – I was there last night, and it was kind of, a you know, walking in mud for a while. It was – Houston's a really good team. Obviously, they have a lot at stake. They're trying to catch Golden State, and it's going to be tough right now. Uh, talented team, a lot of fun to watch, but the Wolves – the, the two kind of stars for the team last night, again, the, 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 the fan favorite, Nas Reed, who's starting now, uh, although he's probably going to get sixth man of the year award, and rightfully so. And, and uh, slow-mo, Kyle Anderson, who's been playing the four, playing Kyle, uh, Carl Anthony Towns' position in his absence, has been getting better and better and more effective. He had a couple of really fun moves last night and had a, a lot to do with them coming back to win. Uh, I'm, 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 it's a rhetorical question. I know Common doesn't listen to the show, but I would say, you know, he's been begging for a uh, uh, load management for Anthony Edwards. Uh, uh, Edwards is now, I think, 0 for 20 in his last 23 point shots. And uh, fortunately, and it was 0 for 6 last night, 5 for 16 overall, but made all 11 of his free throws, which enabled them to pretty much, you know, win the game at the end. And he had one thunderous dunk as well. But 
Um, you know, he looks like he needs a, a day off. And they play tonight against, you know, a, you know, a bad Toronto team that just played last night. So, I, I don't know. I mean, it's up to Ant, I'm sure. And Finch will say, yeah, well, maybe take the night off. A couple things quickly. Um, DraftKings has Malik Monk, even though he's out four to six weeks, as right. a, a slight favorite still to win the sixth mm. man of the year at minus 135. But almost even money, second place, Nas Reed at plus 110. Yeah. So since Monk is out... If Nas has a monster final seven games, maybe he can overtake well, him and become sixth man of the year. He's, he's he's certainly well. I mean, we I don't see Monk play. I mean, I I don't know. I, I just know that Nas has been that good and that aggressive. Ten for seventeen from the field last night. And, yep. and as I said, just a, a in the fan favorite on this team. I mean, we obviously everybody loves Anthony Edwards and uh, for for good reason. But um, Nas is the guy, and and Kyle Anderson has also you know, picked up a lot of steam after having kind of a rough start to his season, but. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun, and talking to a lot of guys uh, who've been with that franchise for a long time. Looking forward to, I think, April 20th is the start of the playoffs. Not the play-in, but the playoffs. And no matter what team they match up against, it's uh, they they got to get past this first round and and uh, let, her, let her fly. It's going to be a very, very competitive Western Conference playoff series, no matter who you're playing. Thunder schedule the rest of the way. Not super easy. Check this out. You mentioned yeah. the Celtics. They're at Boston uh, right. tonight. Then at Indiana Friday, yeah. that's not easy. Another good team. At Charlotte on Sunday, that's right. pretty winnable. Then they host Sacramento, very tough. Mm-hmm. Host San Antonio is playing way better than their record, uh, right? Because they're starting to figure Miami. it out a little bit. Then they host Milwaukee oh. and host Dallas. Man, that not is a, tough. Not a super easy yeah. schedule the rest of the way. Denver, I, you know, I, I, my that's prediction okay, would be that I'll the Wolves are going to finish in second. That, that's, the, I think that's my only gut instinct is they're going to finish second. They could certainly get the top seed, but... I mean, it matters and it doesn't matter. I mean, you're going to have home court no matter what uh, for the first round and then after that. And actually the Wolves, and, and yeah. Finch has talked about it, many times this this team has played better on the road than they have at home. They got to another, they thought, well, you got to have to get off to a good start. Well, they didn't again last night, and it's just something yeah. about it. I don't know. Maybe So that's why I'm, I'm minimizing the importance of, well, we'll see. Home court. We'll Den- see. Denver Playoffs schedule. Denver schedule is much easier. It is at the Clippers, then hosting Atlanta at Utah. That's a guarantee, almost. Right. Hosting the Wolves, mm. then at San Antonio, at Memphis. They got a yeah. couple of gimmies in there. Yeah, I think they're going to end up with the number yeah. one again. All right, headlines when the Power Trip One Show returns with Mark Parrish and Mark Rosen after this on the fan. Do you know who Nate Wiggins, Kool Aid McKinstry, and Dallas Turner are? Yeah, neither do I. No. But by this spring's NFL draft, you will. Minnesota's off-season home for Vikings football is FM 100.3 KFAN. The yeah. As humans, we like having options. One option you might like is speaking with a real person when you call about your credit card. With 24-7 live U.S.-based customer service from Discover, everyone can talk to a real person anytime, day or night. Limitation supply. See terms at discover.com slash credit card. Common here. If you have a loved one who is in need of a memory health care home, schedule a visit with Wellshire. You'll tour the facility, and the staff at Wellshire will answer all of your questions, including Wellshire's unique philosophy of Alzheimer's and dementia care. And RN will perform an assessment of the resident's care requirements. the Minnesota Lottery has raised nearly $4 billion to help our very own Beaches Treat Cows. So say I'm in and play your part in helping Minnesota. Pressure washers, steam cleaners, and wash bays, let me introduce you to American Pressure. Locally owned and operated world experts on anything pressure washer since 1975. I got the owner, Ben Hageman, with me. Ben, tell us how you do business. Simple. We solve our customers' needs with our huge inventory of pressure washers and all the parts and accessories you could imagine. From full installs to a replacement hose, we've got what you need. Reach out at AmericanPressure.com. Spray it, don't spray it. 
The Miller Lite Vikings Draft Party is back at U.S. Bank Stadium on April 25th. Get your tickets now to meet Vikings players and legends while taking in the first round of the NFL Draft. Party on the field and enjoy player photo ops and meet and greets in the best stadium in the NFL. Visit the Miller Lite Vikings Draft Party for your chance to win 2024 season tickets, exclusive prizes, and more. Head to vikings.com slash draft party to secure your spot at U.S. Bank Stadium for the NFL Draft. Vikings.com slash draft party. Beat the spring cleaning rush and call our cleaning heroes at Zero Res. This month, get three rooms Zero Resified, starting at $129. And you can take $75 off your air duct cleaning. Visit ZeroResMinnesota.com and book your appointment today and say you want the KFAN special. Self-medicating with pills or sprays may make matters worse. Life-changing nasal breathing relief that can lead to much better sleep starts with a healthy breathing triangle. You're free now. Free to stream beyond your wildest dreams. Free to be everything you imagine, and then some. That's how it feels to have Quantum Fiber. Your world unleashed. Learn more at quantumfiber.com. Limited availability. Service in select locations only. Hey, it's Corey Cove for Ovo LASIK and Lens. And look, I've had LASIK, and I'm thrilled with my results. But what if LASIK isn't the best option for you? Well, there's even more at Ovo. Maybe you or someone you know, maybe a parent, is over 50 and struggling with reading glasses. Well, Ovo has a solution called Restorative Lens Exchange, or RLE. Now, the LASIK consultation has always been free. It is. But for a limited time, Ovo is waiving the $300 consultation fee for Restorative Lens Exchange. But you'll also get $500 off your LASIK or RLE procedure. Plus, 24 months interest-free financing. So if you're like me and we're struggling with glasses, contacts, or reading glasses, well then call Ovo LASIK and Lens for your free consultation to find out if LASIK or RLE is right for you. And don't forget, Ovo LASIK and Lens has the legends of LASIK, Dr. Lobanoff and Dr. Whiting, along with over 1,600 five-star Google reviews and a best price guarantee. So you really can't get better than vision correction at Ovo LASIK and Lens. Find them online at OvoEye.com. That's O-V-O-E-Y-E dot com. Now back to the 651 Carpets Plus, home of the next day in Saul Studios. It's the power trip on the fan. The Miller Lite Vikings draft party is back at U.S. Bank Stadium on April 25th. Get your tickets now to party on the field while taking in the first round of the NFL draft. Get your tickets today at vikings.com slash draft party and tune in to your home of draft coverage, KFAN, each day leading up to the draft for the chances to win your way in. Draft coverage on the fan is presented locally by Pep's Draft House Pizza. I'm just talking to Derek, man. I can't wait. I'm so excited for the draft. Just to know what we're going to do, to find out what we're uh, It's fun. It's all fun for me, man. I like I, 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 I'm actually, yeah, quite intrigued this year, paying attention, because I just been wanting to watch a franchise quarterback my whole yeah. effing life. And you I, said it. I, I just most people please, listening, please. I have no idea who Frank Tarkenden is, and I, the Vikings had I me. Yeah, like nothing against Tommy Kramer, but that's the yeah, greatest Tommy franchise had, quarterback yeah. that we've. I just you know, it's like getting a the, chance to have a Kirill Kaprizov on your team, Connor McDay. Like it, it's right. fun. They play hockey. I know, but it's superstars <laughs> are superstars. Okay, Hawk. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah. superstars is yeah. not the quarterback position. Yeah. yeah. Uh, speaking of superstars, Rosie, congratulations, man. What did I do? I, I, you're in the new movie with uh, um, Anya Taylor-Thompson. I am? Yeah, the uh, the new uh, Furiosa movie, right? The oh, Mad yeah. Max movie with Anya Taylor-Joy. Incredible. Right from Queen's Gambit. Well She's, uh, oh, well, I had a fantastic. cameo. Yeah, you did a great job. They Thank changed you. the name of the movie to Fury Rosen. <laughs> Furiosa! We've come too far. You said you were coming, and then you didn't come. They took Fury! She's there for one reason, one reason only. As a child, my world was forever changed. And he took it all from me. That's assault. Who do we have here? Daddy. She's from a place of abundance. My childhood. My mother. I want them back. Okay, well, get over here. I want them back. Then what? Whatever you have to do. Sounds easy. However long it takes. Just finish. Promise you'll find your way home. Oh, yeah. It's time to take the run for the out. What? Ready. Oh, my God. Steady. God! She saw it, and when, when I tried to force it a little bit. Where are you going? 
my groin. You find him, he's mine. Oh. It's like some gerbil's pranking it. I might need it more than her. Wow. <laughs> That's Oscar worthy. I have no idea what's going on you in know, this film, but that. I can't wait to see it. So, Rosie, what happens in idea. Uh, Mad Max Furiosa where there's a gerbil cranking it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, What's that all about? That was uh, one of those deleted scenes. Yeah, well, oh. and they're, they're out of fuel, yeah. remember? And yeah. so they got to make energy somehow. <laughs> you got the <laughs> updated version. Exactly. Wow, you you're really uh, this retirement Method thing. Uh, you are uh, you're really working more as a, well, as a retired yeah, man. Yeah. Close circuit to the Cone Brothers. I'm available for your next movie. If well, if they heard that, my gosh. Yeah, yeah. that's impressive. When you say, come on, get over here, yeah, I'm like, wow, well, I believe it. I, <laughs> I sold it, didn't I? You did. You yeah. sold it. Yeah. Congratulations, Rosie. You're going to be in a bunch of movies. Here, what a story, Mark. <laughs> that was frightening. Something. Now it's time for Headlines. Where do you hear when Rosie met Sally? <laughs> <laughs> I actually oh, I actually saw the end of Sleepless in Seattle the other day. It was on, and I went, I went, I haven't Aww. watched this movie in how many years? And you realize, and you start looking up the characters. Oh, yeah. The, the kid, you know, no, he's now like 39 or something, you know. Yeah. You realize when Hanks and Meg Ryan made that movie. You're like, oh, She's right? so cute. Yeah, I just oh, saw on Twitter. She was I saw adorable. on Twitter yesterday, Icebox. Uh, remember Icebox from Little Giants? I saw that, too. She's 42. Yeah. 42? Icebox. Wow. Oh, you don't want to look that stuff up sometimes. That's, Gianna has got a huge crush on Anakin Skywalker. I, again, and, you, do you understand how toxic of a boyfriend he is? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. He and has my a daughter. raging temper. Yeah, he, and my he daughter strangled is in love Padme with Darth Vader. Yeah, and he can't. And she. He's the, the Cam Sutton thing. of Star Wars it's, it's characters. The same thing. What I tried to explain to her that that movie was done twenty years ago, and Anakin Skywalker is the same age as her, as her dad. <laughs> He don't. She don't want to hear that. No, she just she doesn't even listen. No, no she doesn't want to hear that. She can just keep watching the Sith and those first three movies, and he stays the same age. She's got. Right. She's got a little Matthew McConaughey in her. Yeah, they I, keep going on. I mean, she watched him win one pod race and like that, falls uh, in love yep. with him. The guy's a jerk. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't agree kill. more. Cut I couldn't agree more. Cut his son's hand off. He yeah. didn't have the best childhood, dude. <laughs> All right. He did not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, he killed kids? Yeah. The, the, the whole bunch of younglings. A whole bunch of younglings. Mm -hmm. He's younglings. a mass murderer. Yeah. Yeah. He's Honestly, a serial yeah. killer. Are you the bear of bad news? Yeah, yes. Have you seen his eyes? I'm I mean... just, just another dad terrified of <laughs> son, my daughter's boyfriend. The average American pees seven times a day. Wow. I probably uh, way more than that. I think uh, <laughs> between the hours of midnight and is that, 6 is that, a.m. Is that just at work during this show? That's Maybe. just in their pants. Yeah. <laughs> well, Common holds a record for this. Uh, I would say in in this building, among all the people on air, Common absolutely uh, leads the uh, uh, entire air, on on air staff much, and go into the bathroom. Depends on how much caffeine I have on yeah. the day. Wait, actually going to the bathroom to go to the bathroom? Because otherwise, Paul Allen's probably number one. Number one. Uh, Just doesn't uh, walk down the hall. Oh, well, I don't know. Yeah, no, he, <laughs> and sometimes he's not done when he leaves the bathroom. Uh, he's got a weak ladder. <laughs> he gets impatient. 63% yeah. <laughs> uh, of people say they regularly pay attention to the volume and the color of their pee. Hmm. I don't know about the volume. Well, I, I don't know if I'm, volume, pump up the I don't know if I'm timing yeah. it in my head going, I wonder how many liters this yeah, was. Yeah, I should have held on to that a little longer. That like one wasn't enough. The volume of the spray, like... I think they mean the amount. And some people pay attention to the taste. I mean, okay there. That was uh, in 127 hours. I can't help it, like, being an athlete, because that's, like, one of the easiest clues about dehydration, to figure out mm -hmm. how dehydrated you are. So I, that's, like, something I'm always, I'm just in tune to is the color. But, yeah, at the same time, I certainly don't panic. Uh, I don't, and I, and I don't care how much it is. If I gotta go, I gotta go, yeah. regardless of the well uh, said. Uh, volume. A man in Alabama was arrested on Monday morning after authorities allegedly discovered 176 fentanyl pills Whoa. hidden in Easter eggs in his car. Well, oh my! Wow! Well, that Easter would have been an Easter egg run. hunt. I would have yeah. loved about ten years ago. I know people think that I live a weird life, but at one point, are you guys just going to admit it's so much safer just to stay home? Oh, way safer. Right, you can't even that. let your kids go on Easter egg, uh, egg hunts. This guy in Alabama might have laced him with fentanyl yeah, pills. No. Yeah. You never know. You can't go anywhere. That wasn't his intent, though. I mean, his intent was... Who's to say it wasn't? We don't know. Who knows? 53% uh, of gym goers say that they regularly uh, reuse their gym clothes including athletic compression shorts and sports bras without washing them. 
depends what kind of a workout. Percent. Well, if you're doing like yoga and nothing where you're you know, breaking Sweating a sweat. Sweating profusely. Yeah, then you can, I don't see any problem with that. Shouldn't it be if you break a sweat, you better wash Yeah, I mean, if yes. you break a sweat, if yes. you're... Yeah. And, and then couldn't you argue, if you're not breaking a sweat, what are you doing? It's not really much of a workout. Are you well, wasting that's your what I'm time? Saying, if you're doing well, why do you need to Pilates wash? or yoga, you don't have to. You know. I mean, you need to wash it every once in a while, obviously. But, like, if you're back-to-back days. The, the, the compression shorts, yeah. like the undershorts, yeah. come on. Yeah, that's that, that. It's like underwear. Like, you wear it once, it's good. You throw wash in the wash, it. come back. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. Is it necessary for me to drink my own urine? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> no. But I do it anyway because it's sterile and I like the taste. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> patches over the hand. That is a great. Patches patches great uh, you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Yep, <laughs> Necessary. <laughs> That's one of the, like, in terms of percentage of stupidity to how much I like that movie, that movie is dumb as oh, hell. Yeah. But I still like it's it. It's spectacular. Should, yeah, it's great. On paper, I shouldn't, because it is uh, not even White close Goodman. to smart. How yeah. he, White Goodman is spectacular. It's just dumb. How he dies. I know. Yeah. When they, they mix, they mix, mix up their just, uniforms. <laughs> yes. Yes. Great film. You're right. I, I can't believe you like that film, Corey. That I know. seems like a movie you yeah, that absolutely was, that is a... In fact, you would judge us all for liking Correct. that. That sounds right. We yeah. feel mm-hmm. guilty talking about how much we love it. That checks out. You'd be over oh, there God. with your beady eyes. That yeah, checks out. Yeah, Disapproval. And BD Sauce eyes. would hate it because he hates Ben Stiller right. yeah. as an actor. Everything he's done? As an actor, yeah. yeah really? He, does, yeah. he definitely. I think I have heard him talk about He gives that. a tip of the cap to Escape at Denimora and Severance, right? The direction of Ben Stiller is A+. Plus. Doesn't really care for any of it. Wow. Thinks Ben Stiller's not funny. Huh. All right. Even I'll teach their own. meet the parents and all that? I just think he hates Ben Stiller. Yeah, that's too bad. You never know. He's that's fine. interesting. Uh, eight Americans were stranded on an African island when their cruise ship left them uh, alone and uh, were apparently late getting back to the ship while on some kind of a private tour. They tell you yeah. not to be late. The boat's leaving. Yep. They always do, man. Yep. Can't be late. I always wondered about that. Like, yeah, they'll See leave. See you later. Yeah. Find yourself a flight to the next port. Castaway. Yeah. Should I audition for Survivor? Should I put a an audition I, tape in there? See what happens. Uh, no. Yeah, why not? What, what would you would eat? You yeah, what, exactly. exactly. Crickets. Crickets. What, would what would you, you eat? eat? Can I bring Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuits? <laughs> oh. I don't think that's I don't legal. I think that's part of Can the I game. Can I, like, smuggle them in my suitcase? They let you bring a suitcase, right? Probably. With, like, uh, snacks and stuff? Well, you would be voted off, like, almost instantly. What are you talking about? Why? They don't like beady-eyed people. Yeah, the, the tribal council, they would they would not, you would not be popular. What is that supposed to mean? I can't fake it for a day or two before I start scheming? <laughs> exactly. I mean, you, I just think people wouldn't um, be endeared to you. What the hell is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Nobody uh, likes the smartest guy in the room. The uh, the new <laughs> magic number for retirement is 1.46 million. What? Oh, I thought you were going to say some age or yeah, something. Yeah, I was waiting for I'm already too. there. 1.46 million? Yep. Hmm. That's what they're saying. If you Nobody want, uh, if you want to retire. You want to retire comfortably, 1.46 million. Wow. I'm going to assume that's just net worth, not obviously just straight cash. That, no. That's it's, a net it's, worth of 1.46. Right. Well, get a good IRA. Well, with the cost of homes, oh, I mean, that, as long as you have your house paid, that's a lot of it right there. Yeah, it is. Um, Zach, you're listening, right? I am. <clears throat> the Planters Nutmobile is looking for drivers. Oh, wow. You can apply at BAPnutter.com from now oh. through April 14th. Be a peanutter. Be a peanutter.com. Uh, auto filled. <laughs> See, now I'm confused because I thought you already told me you were driving a nutmobile from Philadelphia to Los Angeles. That's not this? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. No, no, no. When no, is no, that no, happening? No. Is there no. a date? Uh, Memorial Day weekend leaving Friday, oh, the 24th. So. Oh, good. That's coming up. It is. Oh. The juice is loose. Oh, juice is going to be news on the old easy. nutmobile. AP. Honestly, between the wiener mobile and the nut mobile, can we have a mobile that isn't phallic in any way? Yeah. And that includes the Pope mobile? <laughs> just can we just have a bear of yeah. bad news mobile? I was gonna say the red lobster cheddar bait biscuit mobile, but the biscuit mobile sounds pornographic in some it way does, as well. Yeah, it does, yeah. Mm. 
Maybe Zach, we, Zach, name a car that's a mobile that doesn't sound dirty. Go. A uh, Whopper mobile. That's, that's that. There's there's a, there's yeah, a connotation there. That, yeah. Shoot. Um, I can go like the Batmobile. Carl's uh, Jr. mobile. You can make a, yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> uh, Hawkmobile. Hi. That's going to be adult it, themed, even yeah, though it doesn't yeah. sound like it is. For sure. Uh, inmates in New York are suing the state corrections department because they want to be able to see Monday's total solar eclipse. Mm. The suit argues that keeping them inside violates their, quote, constitutional right to practice their faiths by wow. preventing them from taking part in a religiously significant event. Uh, what? Oh. That's religious for... Never to, mind. to see a solar eclipse. Yeah. I guess if this works, let's say they win this, and I don't think they will, but let's right. say they win this right. suit. If I'm one of those inmates in New York, I sue and say, well, one of my religious significant events is walking around freely for the rest of my life. <laughs> yeah. And you're denying me the opportunity to do so. Good luck with that. How am I supposed to, how am I supposed to, like, you know, practice that faith if you keep me in this prison forever? Uh. So what if I killed six people while I was driving the nutmobile around town? <laughs> Let me out. Anyway, uh, total, a total solar yeah. eclipse, Zach, Monday. Yeah, I'm... I don't know, man. I, I went in 2017 to St. Joseph, Missouri, and it rained for like 10 minutes that day, and it just happened to fall on the totality. And uh, I promised myself that in 2024, which <clears throat> felt like forever yeah. mm -hmm. at that time, uh, that I would go back and... Uh, just... you know, my son's going so to Monday. Is that, is that, is that, is that Monday, LA? it's tough. I'm not going to... He is uh, specifically to going to see it. He be and a bunch of buddies are going to Austin, Texas. They have, they know some people Smart. down there. They're going Lucky. from L.A. and and uh, apparently that's like one of the hot spots to go to and to check it out. I get and uh, hopefully the, the weather will will cooperate. And so jealous. Yeah, it's, it's, it's one pretty, of the coolest things ever. That's what people say. But it's, I, all the birds stop I, chirping. You've heard that. It gets you know, dark. The it, street lights it, turn on. Everything like in the world mm. around there stops. It's so quiet. It, yeah, it's, I mean, I, I can't the believe it, but it's true. We are not going to get it, that here. Even though, like, I couldn't not see, much. like, because obviously, you know, you have the glasses and everything. We, we couldn't see because of the clouds, the actual eclipse, the mm -hmm. just the darkening of the atmosphere and everything. It was, I mean, I, I, I you joke about it, but it was a religious experience in a way. And so, uh, yeah, if, if you are able to make your way to the go path of totality, go see it for sure. You will have... <laughs> Um, an unreal experience, and I'm very jealous of you. They're saying in my hometown, which it goes right over on Monday, it's expected to be a cloudy day, so no excited no. about that. Yeah. No. You got to dodge that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Get a car. Again, Rosie, what experience am I going to have here? Nothing. Nothing. None. Nothing no. here. Well, then there we go. Yeah. You'll probably just nap right through. 100%. <laughs> yeah. uh, Rosie, two-part question. All you right. get to guess bo uh, first on both. Okay. <laughs> This would have been Marlon Brando's birthday. Oh, my. What year did he die, and how old would he have been today? Oh, man. What year did he die? Marlon Brando. That's a tough one. I, I'm, I'm going to say in the um, man, early 80s. I don't know. Uh, 82, something like that. I, don't, I, don't, I really don't know. Hmm. Uh, and how old would he have been today? Yep. 102? 102. Hawk. Oh, oh, he's just walking back in. Oh. Uh, I'll oh, go Parrish. 84, mm -hmm. 98. have been 98. Zach, you have any reference for this? No idea. I know who Marlon Brando mm -hmm. is. Marlon yes. Brando, check this out. Lived, 92. He lived to 2004. What? Whoa. Yeah. I'm shocked. We didn't I give know, him enough no. credit. Brando died in 2004. Today would have been his 100th birthday. Wow. wow. Born 1924. Yeah. What an actor. Wow. Oh, God. If you've ever seen On the Waterfront, if you're, if you want to watch one Marlon Brando movie, watch On the Waterfront. Pretty crazy. Yeah. He's pretty good, man. Uh, there's a lot of rumors swirling online. I think it started with uh, the lead singer of the band Orgy started this rumor. The hot rumor is that Linkin Park's getting a female lead singer. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Really? But that the only are, one that could hand her, handle that voice. Maybe. I guess they're going to hmm. potentially reunite, and uh, they're going to let one of them ladies do it, Rosie. Yeah. Why not? You've got me in. I've got my... You're in. Uh, you're on, in. Just move on. Oh, no. All right, last one before uh, Chris has got something <laughs> yeah, over there. i got a game for you, brother. All right, oh, check boy. this out. Oh, I love it. I think this is preposterous, but whatever. People are arguing about this on uh, social media. 
Rosie, the uh, Powerball jackpot tonight's over a billion dollars. Mm-hmm. So what? there's an argument floating around on social. If a friend asks you if they can uh, borrow $10 mm-hmm. and you loan it to them okay. and they win the Powerball, right. how much do they owe you? $10. Well, does the, 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 the uh, person uh, specifically uh, say I need $10 because I'm going to go buy Powerball tickets? Uh, or just saying, I would I argue, need- does it matter? Well, they, yeah. They want ten bucks. They're they just they're I mean, asking they for a say, ten dollar well, loan. I need ten dollars. So I'm going to go get uh, whatever, mean, a cup yeah. of coffee and a mm-hmm. croissant. I mean, yeah. I, if, I, if you argue it in court, uh, yeah, I'd be with Rosie. I mean, technically, you owe him ten bucks. Uh, if it was my friend, I would, you know, I mean, a dinner yeah. or something, maybe <laughs> like say, a Porsche, yeah, uh, they, something they, along that line. Would, 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 would certainly be nice. You would pay for your friend's dinner. Yeah, I, I actually <laughs> would. <laughs> o- only if I hit the lottery, Zach. Right. Without the ten dollars, he has no. He or she has no chance of buying those tickets, right? Basically, is what you're saying. So, yeah. I would think the reciprocal way to here, five hundred grand or something. I mean, yeah. why not? What difference does it make? Right. I think it's what you would do versus what you technically owe them. Yeah, exactly. Right. Right. I think everybody, if it's a good friend, and they and they oh, are the ones that got you to the billion. Them. Of course, you reward them with a giant Lion. number. Yeah. But, but in court, technically, the yeah, answer is ten. ten bucks. The yeah. answer is ten bucks. And by the way, seventy two percent of people agree. Seventy two percent say. Ten dollars is the right number. You don't owe them another dollar because no. it's it's not like. Well, it's a really good friend. This isn't the tip, uh, tip and move with the lottery ticket. And it's not <laughs> like it was an agreement where, hey, Mark, give me ten bucks. You and no, I will go in exactly. on Powerball tickets together. Nope. Right. This is you're yeah. not in on the bet. I just need ten bucks from you. Yeah. This, as you said, something like a coffee and a croissant, right? Yeah. You're just giving me ten. I'm just paying you the ten dollars. No, regardless of what I buy. Yep. I just happen to be buying Powerball tickets that hits for the billion. How many states are involved in this? I think 40 promotion. something for 40, Powerball. 42 much or something. All but like Nevada and. Yeah, it's only a handful. So you're saying thing. there's a chance. Uh, how about, again, I don't understand these people. 15% say you would have to give them half. Whoa. 12% say nothing, even the $10. That's, that's just that's, ridiculous. That's, that's a little harsh. Uh, and then 2% say they you uh, that you should owe them the full billion because you wouldn't have won it without them. That's what the. Who are the, no. Can you Who imagine those how, people? how just intolerable. What? Being around those two percent of uh, that, w- those are my yeah. least favorite two those, percent of people on the planet. That's the you one and only time it. and last time I ever hang out with them. I'd spend yeah. the I'd spend those a billion the dollars. I don't give the, the ten dollars back I, to. Yeah, I'd make I'd make their lives miserable with my billion dollars. Yeah, you gonna do a morning show with them? <laughs> I would be quitting as soon as I could hide in anonymity. That's the key. John Bonus has me convinced. Can't quit tomorrow. I'd find right? an island in the tonight. middle of nowhere, and no one would ever hear my voice again. Rosie, you understand that, right? If you I, win tonight, you can't quit tomorrow. Then everybody no. knows that you won it. Correct. So you'd have to put up with everybody for like six to 12 no, months. you wouldn't. You'd have to change a number and ignore them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, Rosie would just have to make travel plans. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, yeah, he's he's not here. Oh, yeah, it's true. Yeah. I'm out. Right, right, yeah. We expected he'd be gone. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess you better, better buy some tickets tonight. I'm definitely going to. Why? The holiday. Yeah, I think Nikki did last night. <clears throat> Let's go. Rosie, so if I'm not here Friday. Friday. Uh, Corey, you're really good at games, so don't don't uh, don't just dominate this. Uh-huh. Whoever yells out the name, uh, the answer first wins. I love okay? it. Love the, the answer Just the answer. Yeah, so yeah, wait, so I'm not okay. supposed to ring in? Yeah, well, you can, okay. but uh, you, if you get the first 10 in a row, please stop. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, we're all trying to play here. Are we supposed to just yell our name? Yeah, or? no, you just say the, 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 the answer. Just say the answer, right. right. Okay. The game is called Who Am I? All right. Is this like initials? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clue number one. I'm a fictional character. Clue number two. I am from a 1900 Frank Baum story. Got it. Well, I mean. Yeah, okay, you got it, yeah. I mean, I, 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 this I is a lot easier with the initials. Yeah. I was played by Jack Haley. No, I got it. Tin, yeah, I got it. Who is it? Rosie. Rosie. It's the uh, Tin Man. That's right. The Son Tin Man. Yeah. Nice job. Right. Yeah, you could say, I got it. Okay. Yeah, okay. I technically didn't have it have it until the third one right, right, with right. Rosie. Rosie right. got it at the same time I right. did. Number two, who am I? I'm a fictional character. I often work my way out of difficult situations. <laughs> I'm an archaeologist. Got it. Indiana, Indiana Jones. That's right. Oh. Where are you, Zacho? I, I'm I'm lost. I was going to say Randy from South Park. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a sportsman. I was born in Maryland in 1985. I was the youngest man in my sport to go to the Olympics. 
Michael Phelps. That's it. That's third one. Yeah, he's from yeah. Baltimore. Good one. Dude. You, you got it first. Go, Marky. Where you go there, Marco? Marco? Hey, some stuff sticks to this brain. Yeah. I'm a I wonder famous. why you win once in a while on Fridays. <laughs> <That's right>. I'm <laughs> a famous character. Random. I am known worldwide. I always stand in a prominent position. I debuted in Macy's 1966 Thanksgiving Day Parade. Snoopy? Nope. Mickey Mouse? Nope. No, it was uh, way earlier than that. Uh, the Monopoly Man? Nope. Thank you. I have red hair. Ronald Charlie McDonald. Brown. Ronald McDonald! Oh, Ronald McDonald. Oh, good one. <laughs> Charlie Brown. Look at you, dude. <laughs> That's real good there, buddy. I'm glad I, we get mul multiple guesses in this game. <laughs> no, no, <can. laughs> taking shots here. I'm a famous American. I was born in 1706 and died in 1790. No other American has done so many things as well as I. How much Alexander Hamilton. Nope. Dang it. I Washington? am credited with saying. 1706, yeah. I'm credited with saying time is money. Ben Franklin. That's it? Yeah. Jesus, you're good you're at this, You're good at dude. this, dude. Look at you, brother. Good luck on Friday. Thank you. I won't get a one. I'm an entertainer. I was born in California in 1946. I am also the high priestess of glam rock. I met my first husband by, while singing with Phil Spector. Diana, no, hang on. Ron, Don, um, Ronnie Spector? <laughs> um, I won a Best Actress Oscar for my role in Moonstruck. Cher. 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 Dang uh, it. You got dang it. How did we miss? Oh, my mom's mad at me on that one. Mom's a big Cher fan. I'm a fictional character. The Big Apple is my home. Spider-Man. I write a <laughs> newspaper column. Clark, uh, Clark Carrie Kent. Bradshaw. Carrie Bradshaw. Bradshaw. Oh, dang it. How come Good you guys one. said Clark, Clark Kent Clark and I went Kent. straight for <laughs> yeah. Sex in the City? <laughs> yeah. What does that say about me? That my... We're on comic oh, strips boy. and you're going... Yeah. Uh, Carrie Bradshaw. I mean, uh, Clark Kent. <laughs> yeah. I am a U.S. leader. I won the Nobel Peace Prize. The strenuous life is the life for me. I succeeded McKinley. Call me a tree hugger. I championed national Te preservation. Theodore Roosevelt. That's yeah. right. My gosh. Yeah. 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 He was huge in the yeah. national parks. Look at yeah. you, dude. I'm telling you, I'm napping or watching the History Channel. Just try Game Show Network. It's fantastic. I actually, that's yeah, there too. Family Feud. Yeah. We're big. The parish is a big fan. A lot of reverse mortgage it's, commercials. It's so much more Upselic. fun than the news. And Sky Rizzi. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm a TV character from the 1980s. I lived with the family, but always avoided house guests. Lived with a family, but avoided house guests. I bet on horse racing. I was born Gordon Shumway in 1756. What? In Whoa, I'm way off I'm now. small, furry, and arrogant. I arrived at the Tanners. Oh. Elf. That's right! Oh, man. I just, I just balked. I said, You, and you I gave balked. it to me. You gave it to me, Gordon. Oh. I kind of, the Tanners made sense. And when you, when you gave it to the the I was like, from, Alf. The Tanners are from uh, Full House. So I balked and I'm like, oh, he said 80s. Right, yes. I forgot that the family from the uh, from Alf yeah. was the Tanners. Yeah. I would have yeah. never remembered Thank that. Thank you, Corey. That was Look a big time good. assist on that. That's really good. I can't believe how good you were at that, Perry. Every now, I like games. When it comes to games, for some reason, uh, this brain clicks. Everything else, it's pretty much sleeping. It's the competition, Just man. Napping. Yeah, you're competitive. The Scalar Brothers playing initials on Friday. I can't wait. I'm looking you're forward to meeting those, those guys. Honestly, I'm really, I remember watching those guys for a long time, man. Super funny. Mm -hmm. It'll be Real fun. Good. And I can't wait to ABC. Thank you very much. I appreciate you sticking with me through me for a couple weeks. I'm here for a while now. Let's yes. go. Zach almost won for him last week. I know. Week. I'm, I was. You know, I would have argued to give Creasel, uh, you know, a better chance. But you know, Zach, I love you too. Almost got there. I won for ABC back <laughs> last has. year, buddy. I know. I'm just kidding, oh. brother. I love you. So, Mark, we'll see you Friday. Uh, yes, we will. I cannot wait to get back to the initials. Let's go. And, Rosie, we'll Good see guys. you next Tuesday. Next Tuesday, and then uh, I'll be here Wednesday, and then we'll uh, maybe see you guys in Vegas. We'll see. Oh, come Hopefully. on. Uh, Probably not. Oh. <laughs> All right, kidding. 9 to noon is next. The Power Trip returns tomorrow, 530 to 9. See you then. Look at the...
your spring at Lowe's with E.